Hi, I'm Vicki Heyman with the Weston County University of Wyoming Extension. And today my topic is healthy ramen noodles. Ramen is not overly healthy. One package of this soy sauce flavored ramen noodle has 370 calories, 14 grams of fat, and 1,760 milligrams of sodium. The recommended sodium is only 2,300 milligrams per day. This is well over half of that amount. So what can we do to make our ramen noodles a little bit healthier? I have some tips for you today. One thing I would do is toss the packet that is in the ramen noodles. That's where you're getting most of your sodium and your fat. Instead, purchase something else. You might want to get a ramen flavored broth. This is a pho flavored broth. Broth can be also purchased in a can. You can get vegetable, chicken, beef, but I like to purchase this better than bouillon. It keeps in the refrigerator, so if you have one, it's handy. You just scoop it out and add a cup of water, and you have your broth. It's lower in sodium, that's why I like it. Another thing you can do to make healthier ramen noodles is change up and add protein. So, for example, we have beans. Beans make a great protein source. You can use any kind of deli meat. Canned meat's also popular, as is roasted chicken. If you want to use raw meat, slice it extremely thin. Boil it with your water, and that way you've poached the meat. Another good protein source is an egg. Scramble up an egg, dice up a hard boiled egg, maybe even put a fried egg right on top. Now, of course, I'm gonna talk about vegetables. One convenient, easy way to add vegetables to your ramen noodles is to buy these freezer steamable microwave packets. Most of you probably have a microwave. If you don't, you can also cook these by steaming them on the stove top. Now the vegetables can be canned. Here I have bean sprouts. You can find a mixture of vegetables. Add whatever you like. Fresh vegetables are also an option. We will be sauteing some vegetables in a little bit for our ramen noodles. Cheese is another great addition. It adds flavor. For spices, since I asked you to throw away the spice packet, you can use any seasoning you like. This is Italian seasoning. You can make taco seasoning. Use Greek or Creole. Whatever you like, season your ramen noodles. Now again, another important thing is sauce for flavoring. And you can use any variety of sauces. I have salsa. We have an oyster sauce. You can add teriyaki seasoning. Soy sauce is also really good. You can purchase containers. This is an orange ginger. This one again is a teriyaki sauce. I have a stir fry sauce. Now if you don't want oriental, top your ramen noodles with pasta sauce. Whatever sauces you like will make a great addition to a healthier ramen noodle dish. You can purchase ramen noodles very inexpensively. That's why most people purchase them for a meal. They're quick, they're easy, inexpensive. But you have other options. Lo mein noodles do not take very long to cook and they give you a little different flavor. These are egg noodles. Try rice sticks. Again, they cook very quickly and give you a different flavor option. Now let's make a healthier ramen noodle dish. I have taken some fresh vegetables and sauteed them with a little bit of butter and oil. Now 
Now, if you don't have fresh vegetables, again, use frozen. Once I get the vegetables cooked down just a little bit, I am going to add some broth. Now, it takes, according to the package, two cups of broth. I decided to use vegetable broth for this recipe, but again, there's many flavors and many varieties to choose from. I'm going to get my water to a boil, then I'm going to add the ramen noodles. But before I do that, I've decided to use canned chicken. The canned chicken is convenient to keep on hand. Now there is some liquid in the canned chicken, and I'm going to go ahead and add it to the broth. It will add a nice flavor. Once my broth comes to a boil, I'll add the ramen noodles. But in the meantime, let's talk about those of you that don't have a stove. Use a glass bowl and cook things in the microwave. It's fast and still convenient. The broth is boiling, so let's add those ramen noodles. The flavor packet, again, is not being used. Let's set it aside. It should take about two minutes for the noodles to fully cook. Now that our noodles are soft, I'm going to turn off the heat. Now it's time to add some flavoring. For this ramen noodle dish, I've decided to use a little bit of soy sauce. And I like the flavor of oyster sauce, so I'm going to add some of that. I'm just gently stirring in the flavoring. And my ramen noodle dish is ready to go. It's healthier because I've added vegetables. I've added chicken for protein. And I left out that high sodium packet mix. I like to do it all in one pot. You can boil the noodles separately and combine it together at the end. Now I have a meal. It's made enough that you maybe could do two servings. If you don't like the flavor, add something different than what I've used. It's all about personal taste and your creativity. I hope you enjoy making healthy ramen noodle dishes. Any of the brand names that I've used are just for educational purposes only.